Hi everybody, I'm Jim Shore. Uh, I thought I'd take a few minutes uh, to once again welcome you to my studio here and start a conversation with you about uh, what my artistic process is, what it involves, and kind of the space that I work in uh, on a day-to-day -day basis that, that lends to the creativity and the, uh, the inspiration for my work. Now, I think most of you are probably familiar with my work. Uh, this is a great example right here of the finished product. Now, that's, this is what you'll see you know, on the shelf, and this is what uh, you as collectors will end up you know, in your home. And this, and of course, you know, hundreds and hundreds of other examples too. But I wanted to, I wanted to show you this one because this has a certain amount of complexity to it. There's, multimedia pieces and this kind of stuff. So uh, this is kind of the finish, this is what we end up with. Starting out with the process, uh, it uh, starts with a lot of the pieces that I do. I start out with, uh, with drawings. Here's just a few examples of uh, the way we start out. Now this is not absolutely essential to get started towards this. But it's, it's a way of, of communicating my ideas to the other people in our organization that need to, that need to know. And there's, you know, of course, salespeople and marketing and merchandising people and stuff like that that, uh, that like to know what I'm thinking. And it also allows us to I'll kind of keep a library and a, a record and archive of uh, things that we've done in the past. And sometimes we'll use this kind of artwork uh, and the elements that are contained within for, uh, for other purposes, like uh, uh, whenever we need flat art or things that uh, involve the, uh, the uh, creating the style guide and furthering the style guide. Once we get it like this, then we start deciding on, on what we want the color to look like. And uh, uh, of course, I have it in my mind generally what, uh, what I want to do, but once again, in order for the, the benefit of everyone else, we start doing uh, colorways like this. You can see examples of uh, some of the things we, that, that uh, we've generated here based on my original artwork. And this is a piece in process. This is a piece that shows basically how I want the color scheme to go. And then from there, once we get this done and, and uh, the list grows as far as the artwork that we want to start the creative process of transforming it from two dimension to three dimension. That happens in another part of my studio and, and uh, as, as these little segments go on, uh, I'll introduce you to more and more of the areas of the studio. But I wanted to give you the, uh, sort of a, an overview of where the, the starting point is. Uh, you can see in this little area of the studio, and the area the studio is, is fairly complex and it's large, and you'll see that as time goes on uh, as, we, as I show you different aspects of the studio here. But this little corner here, as you can see, we've got wonderful window walls. I've got plenty of space to display my, my quilts and the other pieces of art that I've collected that serve as an as a inspiration to me. And it makes for a pleasant, uh, pleasant place to do to do the artwork, but I uh, thought you might be interested in, in the starting point, and as time goes on, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take step by step and show you the areas and the, the continuing process that go from here to, to here. I think you'll be interested. So thanks for coming, and I'll see you again soon.